well it's june 29th and uh eight o'clock in the morning got up here to big lake starting out on pct now I'm gonna go climb mount washington there in the distance going up north ridge should be a nice fun day a little repelling off the top maybe should be fun brought the rope sling harness mosquitoes are nuts today man it's bad should have brought some bug spray first little critter of the day that little frog right there nobody go All right, so that's the Pacific Crest Trail. That's the way we came from. That continues on to the Pacific Crest. There's no signs, but there's a little cairn of rocks here. And you can see a slight trail up this way. The trail to the mountain is up here. We're exactly 2.8485 miles into the hike before you see the cairn of rocks. So if you're going three miles, you need to backtrack just a little bit. And then the trails, you know, it's gonna be a little bit of bushwhacking probably because it's not where it will maintain. As you can see, the climber's trail is just like most climber trails in Oregon. They're not super maintained and uh, kind of just gotta meander around to keep on it. So looky there, these mosquitoes are just vicious today. I'm sure they're gonna end up taking a pint of blood off of me by the time I get to the top. <laughs> well, I didn't think we were gonna hit a lot of snow today looking at the mountain, and uh, I was totally wrong. There's a lot of snow up here, we're at 6,000 feet, and this is just everything we've been trudging through up to the top. So <laughs> hopefully once we hit the ridge line, it's just rock from there. These god dang mosquitoes. There's probably nothing I hate more than trail permits than mosquitoes. But here, here's the mountain for you. We're gonna be headed up that ridge all the way up to the summit block, rappel down, and come down the scree field there towards the bottom and then hit this trail again. About 2,000 more feet. Trails super obvious up here. Uh, there's been some boot prints, just one set on the way up. So somebody else has been up here at some point recently. I don't think today. See some boot prints right there because I haven't seen anybody, and there was no one parked at the trailhead. So when you're coming up the ridge. I see her climb the back side of that and come around <clears throat> the right side of all these ridges up here. And then you're gonna side hill a little bit. <clears throat> the rock's not horrible. It is a little crumbly. Uh, and then you're gonna come down the right side of this rock, take the path, you'll see it. It does split, but you'll find a dead end if you go up the upper way. You have a cool little arch there it's almost worth climbing up to but not today <laughs> well i zigged when i should have zagged so uh now we get to climb up this and get to where we're going so okay. all right well we're making our bid up to the summit block up around that rock and all the way up to the top. <clears throat> it's like, it's a little ways, so this is a point in time to take a little break, get some water and a snack, rest up for this last push. You really gotta take this slow. Make sure that your footholds and your handholds are secure because this rock gets crumbly and a rock that looks like a good hold can easily come down the mountain, so.
That's a drop off. <laughs> You're not going to recover from that one. Okay, so if we go down, go to this little crack, I think that might be the best option. The question is getting down there safely. This doesn't look so bad now. Time to do some sketchy shit. Sketchy shit. Oh, got that song stuck in my head. This is a pretty easy scramble right here. Up this little crack. I I shouldn't see that as we're doing it. Hopefully, that was the worst part. We'll see. Hmm. Oh. So I just gotta scramble up that. Doesn't look too bad. I am not the most technical rock climber but <clears throat> I'm tall I got long legs and I'm not afraid of heights so I can get away with a little bit of shit so here's one rope section so it's right here it's gonna be our third wrap station Oh, sorry, second. Here's our third wrap station down there. We passed it already. All right. Well, this line will be interesting. Lots of good holds in here. straight up this way. See if that can hold. Yep. Here we go this 
route. made it well guys we made it top of mount washington just awesome awesome climb super easy approach only maybe one little sketchy part on uh, the way up here a little 5-2 pitch it's not that bad what a view beautiful out here see where all that burn area just burned everything up crazy coming this way you'll start seeing over there we got uh, we got black butte over there and then as you come down this way we got broken top north sister middle sister south sisters behind you can barely see the peak a little brother got a bunch of lakes down here See where that fire burnt everything up. Just craziness. As you come around over here, you're gonna start seeing Big Lake down there, people on the boat. You got Hoodoo Ski Resort. You got Three Finger Jack, Jefferson. It's like Matt Cook was up here, if that's Matt Cook uh, from YouTube, man. We need to go climbing together someday. He was up here on the 16th. Looks like someone else is up here. He was up here, yeah, the 16th. A couple more parties up here the 16th. Here we are, 629 in the book, summit of Mount Washington. Next person that comes up, we're gonna need a dry book and a pen, some pencils in here. Almost forgot to get my summit beer. Oh, it's been in my pack since last night. A little lesion contact haze. Nice and warm IPA, nothing like that on a good summit. actually pretty good <laughs> all right we're at the first wrap station i'm just gonna check these wraps make sure there's no frays or cuts anything like that in them uh, this one's a little suspect on where it's at but if it's pulling that direction it should be fine these all look pretty bomber they look actually pretty new there's three of them, so I trust my life to that. That way. This way.
look steeper from up above. Well, we're getting to the bottom of the rock field here. I don't know if it was a good choice to come down the shell field. I mean, we came from all the way up there and just came straight down the rocks. Fell my ass three or four times getting down here. The shell's not that great for going down. I think uh, may have saved some time, but I think just backtracking the ridge, I could have ran it a bit faster and uh, not falling down so many times. What do we have here? I bet it's a balloon. So if you ever wonder where your balloons go when you let go of them, I'll tell you, they end up on the mountain. Found lots of these balloons out here. That's why you gotta pick them up, put them in your pack. Do your job, clean up the forest. Well, current status is we're not on any trail, but we're close to the PCT. And those who know me know not to follow me because this is the shit we'll be doing. Bombing through the woods with no trail. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Make your own path. Choose your own adventure. It's only another half mile or so, right? Every time. I just have to show everyone how beautiful this is out here. All these flowers blooming. Yeah. So cool. We are so blessed to live in a state like Oregon. I know the politics suck. But man, you get out here in the mountains, all that goes away. It's just so beautiful, nice. I mean, take a mental health day from work. Get out and enjoy these mountains. Come run some trails. Go hiking. Go paddleboarding in a lake. There's nothing better than this. Nice summer day. Out getting vitamin D. Working on our fitness. Climbing mountains. The views. All these wildflowers. Couldn't ask for more. This is God's country. Let's keep it that way. Let's keep it clean. Pick up garbage on the trails. Pick up after yourselves and others. Coming to the end. Whew. Man. That sun was just beating down on me. Those last three miles. Hard. No, no shade. There's a run, walk, run, walk. Whew. I am going to go jump in Big Lake because I am overheating and I need to cool down. <laughs>